Hi guys, Paul here from BA Brew News. Got one from Demolin. This is Hemel and Arda uh, from Bolgraven, the Netherlands. So cheers to Thomas, Douglas, and Herman. Here we go. We have a beer here. What is it? 10% alcohol by volume. So whatever it is, it's a nice beer. <laughs> it's a nice ABV anyway. Let's see, handcrafted, unfiltered, unpasteurized. Enjoy within 25 years. Keep cold and dark. Recommended drinking temperature 10 degrees C. Um, let's see. <clears throat> Ingredients: water. Da -da 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 let's see if it says it on the back, and it doesn't say it on the back either. So, and, and this is from 2016, so it's got some age on it, which is fine by me. Uh, I picked this up for probably about eight bucks. Um, when I was in, uh, out when I went out to Michigan, so there you go. La do 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 do. Hemel and Arde. Let's see what it gives us. I don't even know his style. It's uh, interesting. It's gonna be a mystery beer, only because of no label. <laughs> so all right, that's fine. All right, we got it cracked open. I didn't really hear much of a hiss. Let's see if they can generate a little head on it. Here we go. All right, it looks imperial stouty ishy. Who knows if there's chunks or not? I don't know. Who knows? There's just some some little chunky chunks in there. I'm sure, there's some little chunky chunks in here now. There you go, guys. That definitely looks a little Imperial Stouty, but we shall see. Sometimes they do like Imperial Stout barley wine mixes and stuff like that. Um, I've had a lot of them, the Molen beers, where it says like something-ish, you know, like Imperial Stout-ish or this or that. Uh, I always thought it was funny because it's the same kind of thing, slightly different but the same. Uh, American Brewing Company's like, because they can't brew a proper style sometimes, so they'll just say, Scotch style ale or barley wine style ale. Is it a barley wine or not? Is it a Scotch ale or not? <laughs> you know, it's just style. It's stylized. All right. So again, this looks like an imperial stout. So, ooh. Okay. There's two things that I will say about that smell, just real quick. It's smoky, and it might be peaty, just saying. Might be peat smoked a little bit, just a little bit. <laughs> just there's something, there's definitely smokiness. What I picked up might be a little peaty, I'm not exactly sure. Gave me an Ardbeg Ard vibe, if you know what I mean. So, cheers. It gives me like an Ardbeg vibe. Uh, like I said, like peat smoked, but definitely smoked. I'm, I can't really pit, I can't give you the definitely Pete, but it's giving me a vibe. So let's get into it. Cheers. Okay. That's thin. That's a thin beer. Didn't expect that. Oh, it's kind of sad. Nose is great. Beer's kind of boring. Oh, let's, let's get into it. Cheers. If I had to go by the style, if I had to guess the style on this one, because of the body, I would say like, I don't even know if they do this style, honestly. <clears throat> um, like, Peat barrel or whiskey barrel aged um, imperial porter or, or imperial black ale or something like that. That's what I'm getting out of this. This is a little bit of char, a little smoky, that kind of thing. Get that kind of like, again, it, it, there's got this kind of peat smoke vibe I'm getting out of it. I'm not really sure. But it's really thin and pretty damn dull. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I could say I could definitely say like a, like a peat uh, smoked imperial ale, imperial 
porter or pure black ale, that kind of thing. Because it's ten percent, so. But damn, that's thin. That is that's thin. Nice smokiness too. A little hit of char, not too charry, just a little bit of it. Um, earthiness, pepperiness. A lot of smoky kind of little smoky char, but it gives me like a peat vibe. I haven't had peat peat stuff in a while, but it, it gives me that anyway. A hint of Baker's chocolate. If this is an imperial stout, it's really super thin. That's why I'm thinking like an imperial porter or imperial black ale, that kind of vibe, aged in something like that has a little smoky peat peat vibe into it. To be perfectly honest, I'm not a huge fan of it. See, like I said, it is just kind of dull. It's just kind of there. It's kind of a there beer. So, especially with the price, I can't really give it that high of a score. Um, If it was a peat smoked black ale, I'd probably give it like a seven. If it was a peat smoked uh, imperial porter, I'd probably give it like a six. If it was a peat smoked um, imperial style, I'd probably give it like a five. That's pretty much where I'm at there. If it was a barley wine, I'd give it like a five uh, or four maybe. You know what I mean? So just in that vibe. So anyway, like it's just. I usually don't I usually like all the demolin stuff, but this one oh it's just not hitting right, so let's try again. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going with I'm going with some kind of peated peated smoked uh, like Imperial Porter or Black Ale or something like that. But there it's definitely not uh not definitely not a winner. Uh, like I said, Black Ale would probably be a seven. Porter would probably be a six. Imperial Style would be a five. That kind of that kind of vibe. Anyway, this has been Paul from Beer News. Cheers. Bye bye. Watch that fan.